Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to make your own creation out of shrinky dink paper. Where you can get the paper is off the internet from klutz.com. Remember, the first time you do this you have to remember that your creation will shrink three times smaller than the actual picture. So. I'm going to um, start drawing a bird and um, after I start drawing the, the outline of the bird, I'll colour it in and then I'll show you how it shrinks in the oven. So I'm just going to stop the camera while I finish um, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've done my creation, um, I've done my actual template of the bird. Now what I have to do is get a hole punch if I want to hang it up anywhere or make it out of a bracelet. So just get a hole punch where necessary. If it's bothering you a bit, cut it out a little slither. So, there you are. And then cut a kind of rough outline around it. Now, I'm just going to show you a um, creation that I've made before and it used to be about that big the actual drawing was about that big and it shrunk to this tiny little model it is really cute and also if you notice here this is the size that the hole punch this well, hole I'm going for 45 minutes Away. Here turns into this minuscule hole there. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. Remember, when you put it in the oven, line it with some brown paper. The if it's about the size of this, um. If you like, if, if it's about the size of this, it'll take maybe two to three minutes. If it's smaller, it won't take as long. Um, once it comes out, get a cup with a flat base and just flatten it out a little. Make sure you don't crack it because otherwise that'll be the end of your creative masterpiece. I'll get back to you as soon as this is shrunk. And thank you for listening. Um, hi guys. Um, I'm back. I'm back. Look. Look how small it's become. And it's even smaller than this cute little piece. So that, that's just an indication and a scale of how big you want to make it. Look how small it's become. And remember how big it was. You can look back if you want to see how big it was before. Now guys, remember, never ever leave these cute little pieces inside the oven for too long because otherwise they'll get destroyed. And it's really upsetting because I once made a really cool piece and it, it totally got destroyed and I was really disappointed. Now, um, so once you've done that, once you've taken them out of the oven, you can squash it on with the glove glass and if they're still bendy just let them cool a bit because that means they're still soft if you watch if you look inside the oven it's a great experience for you to see because it it, it geometrically curls up and then flattens out again it's really cool so i encourage you to watch them thank you for listening now remember you can press the like button if you want subscribe. and or subscribe and we will and I will make more videos anyway thank you for listening bye